Oh, big Biggin. Biggin. Oh my gosh, guys. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Alright, where do you want to go? Oh. Oh baby, right when I get the chesty on. That's a big one. That's a big one, guys. Yeah, that's a good one. He's yeah, time. That's a big one. That's a big one. Come on, don't be playing. Oh! It is time to hop on the boat and do some fishing today, guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I know you guys have been wanting to see some more boat videos and that is what we're working on right now. Right here, right now is some boat content. Got my power poles down. Out on this beautiful lake that I've never been to before. I'm down here in Florida, just pretty much lake hopping, trying a bunch of different places. And uh, I've never been out here before, so we're gonna see what's gonna go down. We're gonna cover a lot of water. First things first, we're pretty much gonna my, my trolling motor, I want you guys to look at this. And if you guys have any suggestions or you know why it's doing this, let me know in the comment section down below. I took the boat out the other day. I had an insane 80 fish day. And watch my trolling motor. I can't, my pedal's like locked up. Only when I move it this way. But if I put my weight on it and kind of press the pedal, sometimes I can get it to move. It's not doing it right now. I'm like all locked up. <laughs> See, look, if I put all my weight on the pedal, it's slightly moving. I can kind of get it across, but if you guys have any suggestions on how to fix that, let me know. I should have looked at it before we came out today. What's, what's going on, guys? You guys watch the channel? Yeah. Here, I'll come over and see you guys. Hey guys, we're out on the lake now. Just met a few supporters of the channel. Uh, I was just talking to the camera and I just look up and they're like looking at me. I'm like, what's up, man? And I uh, just went over there, talked to them for a bit. Really cool guys. If you guys ever see me in public, come up and talk to me. I'm already seeing a bunch of bait on my graph, guys. A bunch of grass this this place is looking saucy i'm not gonna lie um i've already seen 15 foot on my graph which is awesome you go to a lot of these florida lakes and they tend to be really shallow this lake's got a good bit of depth to it i'm already seeing bait a lot of fresh hydrilla this place should be really good they said that their biggest one they caught out of here is three and a half but they they tend to kayak fish a lot that's still a really good bass but i believe there's some really big ones in here and they told me they've talked to a guy that's like hey man uh I caught a few tens out here. So I know that's potentially possible. But we're gonna go out today. Right now, I'm pretty much gonna scope out the lake, get a feel on it. There's a couple other lakes I can lock into and uh, just see what we're gonna do today. I just wanna drive around. I like riding around the lake and kind of getting a feel for the area before I start fishing um, and figure out what we're gonna do today. There's a lot of docks on this lake too. I'm sure we can get on a really good dock bite. Um, there's some deeper water in here. I'm sure we can get on a really good offshore bite and fish on a lot of this grass. I'm sure we're going to be offshore. Water visibility super clear. Um, mild wind today and a good bit of pleasure boaters on the water. So this should be fun. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. And drop some comments down below on some Florida lakes you want to see your boy go to. Because I'm down in Florida a lot, guys. I don't live down here. But uh, I really enjoy Florida fishing. You never know what to expect. I mean, you can come out and you can catch a bunch of two pounders or you can come out and just smoke them and get on some good eight to 10 pounders. So if you guys have some lake suggestions, places you want to see me go next, drop them down below. I hope you enjoy it. Let's hop right in. Hey, before we get started today, I'm going to get a few poles rigged up. I got a Texas rig on one of my rods. And here on this other rod, I'm actually about to rig up a chata donk, you know. You gotta have the old chatter dawn. We are in super clear water today, but man, I listen. You can catch fish on a chatter donk in dirty water, clear water, any I, I don't care what it is. This white and chartreuse is money, man. A lot of these Florida lakes, if you fish some of this tannic water too, this water is obviously just super clear. It's not really like tannic. Uh black and blue is really good too. But yeah, that's what we're gonna start off with. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little just like a little speed worm on here, very clean and basic. Nothing crazy. It's a little Texas rig, quarter ounce weight. Hoping we don't have to do a lot of this today, but with this wind, you know, not being too high, we might end up having to do it. I went out with my boy, uh, Captain Goggles, the other day. We had a lot of fun. We only caught them on worms, you know, we couldn't get them on any moving base. Our wind was very minimal. And then I went out the other day and that's when I caught those 80 fish and it, it was just insane on the new mock swim bait. This this bad boy was smoking them. I couldn't I couldn't get them off of it. But yeah, this is what we're gonna start off with. Old chatter donk, old Texas rig. Let's see if we can get a big one to pull today, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start off with the chatter donk just to cover some water, kind of get a feel on everything, and then kind of go from there. 
you guys didn't see this on camera i actually scanned a bunch of nice grass out here it's a bunch of hydrilla you got about a 12 foot drop off that drops off to about 12 foot then you got the hydrilla and it's about eight foot tall hydrilla so this should be a good little spot we're gonna fish the edge of this for a little bit i'm gonna start off with this chatter dunk cover some water if i gotta slow down i'll pick up that worm try to pick it apart there should be some fish in here if not we're just gonna keep on moving guys trying different things trying different grass patches and just see what we can put together golly boys that was a good looking grass patch too he knocked the brakes off of me pick up this worm See if we can get them on this worm. Where there's one fish, there's usually multiple. I was not expecting to get a bite that quick, guys. I didn't think I was gonna get a bite on this first spot. By the way, if you guys wanna check out the kicking combos, only available on my website, kickingtheirbass.com. I'll pop the link on the screen and in the description box down below. We have right hand bait casters, left hand and spinning combos. Everybody that supported the brand, this four, I got a freaking nice one. Sorry guys. Oh, he ain't even big. <laughs> Got the old wormski out. A little shaky shaky. Oh boys, we hadn't even been fishing long and we already own them, baby. Not a big one, but a nice little fish. I mean, you cannot complain to come out to a lake that you've never been to before. You literally go scan your first spot. You find some good looking old grass. We got the boat sending 14 foot right here. Got a good little grass patch. You pull up and you get a, get a fish right away. That is awesome, guys. That is awesome. First cast on the worm, too. That might be what they're on today. That's a pretty fish. He ain't the size we're looking for today, but he's something. And to catch him right away, that's a good sign. And that's another reason for y'all to pick up a KTB combo, baby. What I was saying is I appreciate everybody's support. Everybody getting the rods. I mean, you guys, it's, it's crazy. You guys are amazing, man. Everybody that supported the brand, everybody's loving the combos too i've had a lot of great feedback i mean it's, it's just a blessing guys i've been waiting years to to come out with my own products like this and to partner up with lose on this combo it's just a blessing and i've caught so many dang big fish on these things guys this one's actually the <laughs> i had two samples that i got right right before we started releasing them you know when i was using them and i was testing them out this is actually one of my sample rods I'm still using it, guys. It's been two years. Let's see if we can catch some more. I'll tell you one thing we cut, we, we learned right there too, guys, is, is we picked up that chatter donk. We got a bite and it kind of told us, you know, let's hone in on there. Let's pick up this worm. Let's go a little slower. That's, that's another great thing about throwing a moving bait, kind of getting the feel on an area. You get a bite and it's like, all right, let's hone in with more of a finesse bait. And that's exactly what we did there. And we picked up our first fish. I see a lot of activity out here too. I've seen a couple fish come up and pop some bait. You know, this is this might be a good little area we need to break down. There's another one, guys. That's a good one. He's coming up to the top. Yeah, that's a lot better fish. Look at that. Solid two pounder, not no one pounder. <laughs> he felt big, man. He's coming right to the top. Get up here, boy. Okay. Now we getting on something, guys. Not a big one, but hey, we catching them. It is just awesome coming out to a new fishery and, and just getting on fish like that instantly. I mean, that's just one of the best feelings in the world, guys. Not big ones, but but hey, we're going to get into some big ones here later. I have a feeling.
Oh my gosh. Biggin'. Biggin'. Freaking biggin'. Oh my gosh, guys. Here we go. This is what we need, baby. It's like a five pound. That's what we need. It's freaking fat, too. Oh my gosh. Mm. Let's go. Look at that, baby. He's all deeper. He's in 15 foot. Look at that chunk right there. Easy four pounder. Let's freaking go, baby. Look at how fat he is, too. He ain't no skinny guy. Oh my goodness. What a freaking chunk. Chatter donk is why I throw it. Freaking ate me right at the boat. That is, <laughs> that is a nice one. There's some more fish under me, too, guys. Look at that freaking tank. That's a big one right there, boys. That's what we want. That's what we after. We're gonna put him in the box. We're gonna get a picture later on. See a little top water action. See what we can do. Oh my goodness. Dude, there's a huge gar behind this guy. That was my first cast on top water. Hope you guys enjoy the dash cam too. Let me know what you guys think about that. I might switch up to this chest cam if this top water bite's getting crazy. So you guys can see the blowups. But a nice little bass right there. Nothing big, but but hey, pretty one. That was my first cast on a popper. <laughs> and we have this chunk come up and get it. He had a he had a gar behind him. Big old boy right as he ate it. See if we can get another one. Oh, oh that's a better one. Dude, they're eating the top water, baby. They are cranking it, guys. I've thrown three casts of this popper. He's about the same size. I got him in the top of the head. <laughs> oh, you cannot beat a good topwater bite. You just cannot beat it. They are hammering that popper too. Wow, that is fun. Dude. Guys, this is crazy. That was my next cast. I see some more bait popping over here. Guys, my camera keeps getting hot. I got blown up on. All of a sudden my GoPro keeps turning off. They are hammering this popper though. We onto something right here. Both of those bites I just missed, but we onto something. Hoping my camera's not gonna keep overheating. It is hot today. go crank in the pop daddy man oh man top water bite is in session boys they ain't big <laughs> Woo. i'm telling you it's hot guys my phone overheating my camera's overheating <laughs> i'm overheating <laughs> it is a hot day but they are still coming up for this top water and that is some of the most fun that you can have while fishing. I'll tell you, it is just, it's crazy guys. We just out here enjoying it. Never been to this lake. You know, we got on a good little offshore bite with that worm, found a bunch of good grass. Then found that big old chatter donk bass and then pushed up in this pocket. I saw a good old grass edge and a little bit of wind pushing up in this pocket. And now we're getting on a good popper bite. So we're just gonna keep on catching them guys. As long as we can catch them with a the popper and then we'll go try some new stuff. Maybe see if we can find some bigger ones in here. I'm hoping we'll find some bigger fish. If not, we probably need to go out a little deeper. But all the bass I've caught on the top water, they're not too big. But they're still fun to catch, man. Top water is awesome. Oh, 
Oh my. That's a big one. That's a big one, guys. That's a big one. Guys, I got a monster. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a good one. He destroyed that sucker. Uh-huh. That's the size we want, baby. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir, baby. Uh oh. That's the size we want. <laughs> he destroyed that popper, man. That was not like those other blow ups. That thing wanted it. I'm going to put him in the well and we're going to get back out there, see if we can get another one. That's what we want to see. My GoPro overheated. I had to sit out for like probably 10 minutes, let that thing cool off. And his jet skis went by me. And I was like, that's gonna stir up the bait. And I was like, I gotta put the GoPro on. And sure enough, that bigger one bit. All right, guys, I put back on the chesty cam. My GoPro just keeps overheating. It won't stop. I wonder if it'd be better on my chest. I don't know, it was overheating on my chest and the dash, but. Oh, oh baby, right when I get the chesty on. Guys, this top water bite's insane, bro. This is, oh, it's a good one too. Oh, let's get it, baby. Let's get your blood boiling. Oh, it's a nice one. That's a solid two pounder. He ain't as big as those two I got in the well, but that's a good fish. All right, y'all, look at that. Not a bad one, about a two pounder on the old popper. Kicking, spinning reel. I ended up, uh, my, my GoPro just keeps overheating. I flipped them up in the boat and it just overheated again, but. Man, these fish are biting so good, I can't even film, guys. It's so aggravating, but <laughs> I'm gonna get this puppy off, get her back in the water. I'm gonna have to wait a second for this GoPro to cool down. Look at that one, guys. Not a bad one. Good old two pounder. Pretty fish, man. Pretty old bass. I think exploded on it. Should we put him in the box? He might deserve it. Ah, eh, nah. We need at least three to four pounders to be put in that box. <laughs> they are smoking it you gotta love topwater fishing guys some of my favorite fishing to do it's just so exciting when you see a bass just come up and just explode up on a topwater it's probably the best feeling in the world like i love eating guys i love me some chipotle that's a pretty good feeling when i get me some chipotle but let me tell you when you got an old bass blowing up on a topwater that's probably the best feeling i could ever get well, since I haven't got to talk to you guys too much today, here's the rig that I'm using. Old kicking their bass setup, spinning combo on braid, obviously for my top water. Just a little popper. Um, and I've been finding pretty much where this grass drops off. I'll sit my boat in about 11 to 13 foot. I'll find where that grass drops off and uh, I'll pretty much fish that edge. So, you know, it's the grass would come all the way up to the surface. It'd be about three foot below the surface. Then you're gonna have a big drop off. And I'll pull out, you know, I'll pull my boat all the way off and I've been beaming this popper right over that grass and all over that drop off. And that's where I've been catching these fish. And it's been really good. Um, all of a sudden it just got really cloudy out and it, it, it feels a lot better outside. I hope I'm not gonna have any more problems with my cameras. Look at that baby. But that's a tiny one. But that's how they're eating it guys pretty clean and simple you know nothing crazy we got one good one on the pot or pretty much two good fish we had one solid like two two and a half pounder and then i had one that was between three and four pounds on that popper um other than that most of them have been pretty small that's probably the smallest one we've caught today but they're eating it and i really don't care to throw anything else i know i could pick up that swim bait that mock swim bait and, and destroy them on it with how they're eating this i know i could catch them on that too but I'm not really wanting to do that because I've used it in about every video <laughs> and I love topwater fishing, man. So we're going to get on a good little topwater bite. We got some lily pads and a little point coming up over here. Got some docks. We haven't got to fish any stuff like this yet. So we're going to see what's, what's happening. The bite has slowed down just a little bit since these clouds got out. 
and the wind has picked up just a tad. I think these fish are honestly gonna start biting a little better. Let's just give it some time. It's crazy guys how you can go try to beat the bank at a lot of these lakes. You know, a lot of fishermen, they'll put in this place and they'll be like, you know, this grass right here is really good, but the biggest thing has been the submerged grass and the hydrilla. You know, I, I'm throwing up on this grass right here and it looks so good. And I, I promise you there's some fish on it, but I can almost guarantee you that the bigger ones and a big majority, big population of those bass are offshore. They're offshore on that submerged grass, on those drop-offs, in that deeper water. You know, I've I fished though, both these edges right here. I haven't had a dang bite. I'm not saying that there's not any fish up there, but what I'm saying is these fish are offshore. I mean, we figured that out from the rip. I, I scanned a deep grass drop off from the start of this video, we started catching fish. I didn't even touch any shallow water. This is the first time I've really came up shallow. I've, I've been fishing deep this whole whole time and I haven't even been out here too long. We just, we've been catching them really good. Um, I haven't even toyed around with this up shallow. I think we could catch them like them, them docks too. The dock bite, I better be pretty good. Um, I don't know. I, I don't care to really fool around with it for as good as I've seen these fish in the grass offshore. And now that I'm seeing not even a fish, that one fish we did catch that was closer to the bank was tiny. It was our smallest fish of the day. Those fish schooling next to us were teeny. <laughs> we gonna have to get off the bank to catch these bigger ones. I can already tell you, but I'll, I'll try it for a minute just to kind of relieve us, just to say we did it. Look who we got out here. Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks sure. for letting me come out. Yeah, of course. We got Captain Goggles out with us. We we're just playing around a bit and I was talking to him on the phone and he was like, hey. He came to my around. lake and caught all those fish. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm not gonna lie. The man just showed up. Noah definitely knows how to figure out a lake and find those fish quick. No, it's, it's so different, man. I'm having, I'm having fun with it though. We got a little bit of rain coming in now. I don't know if you guys see that. It's getting a little nasty, but we're gonna see if we can get back on this popper bite. Let's see if we can get him on a few. I wanna see it, yeah, sure. Yeah, they're biting it pretty good. I don't know, now this rain's coming out. Man, I don't wanna get wet. I know, I'm not. Yo, go to that dock. Go to, go to... You can't get in that dock. Got a got one of the lifts on it. Yeah, that does suck. It ain't no little drops either. <laughs> these, are, these are some real, some real rain. All right, where do you want to go? Uh, let's go to the bridge. Yeah, let's come to drive off. Let's go to the bridge. Would these rods fly? They shouldn't. I mean, lock them down though. All right. Yeah, that's a big rain, bubba. Just a little wet. What are you doing? Uh, it's stuck. Go, it's go. stuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. I'm about to use the best combo ever made. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, butter. Here we go, here we go. Wow, that is good. That is. Give it a little pause. They're eating a little weird. Look, he's teaching me now. When I take my clients out, I'm like, pause it, pause it. No one's like, pause hey, it. You got fish slower. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> we had a huge rainstorm. We parked under this bridge. We're actually in a whole different lake now. They're gonna start schooling right now. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. I'm and telling we, you. the sun just came out. It looks beautiful. And we just came into this new, new part of the lake. Actually, so we're gonna get after it. We met one of Noah's future subscribers. Yeah, we did. We came through, and he's like, "Yo, dude, you got a channel?" <laughs> and he's like, "I feel like I've seen one of your videos." So, good work, homie. What's up? Yeah. There. You got him? Oh. Yes, sir. A little, a little squirt. Is that on the chatterbait? Yes, I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the clear blade? Yeah, the clear blade. Well, guys, we just got up on uh, this other spot and we got one right away. Nice, bro. Hey, show the people that, too. I, I've never seen that. So, I, I never even thrown it before. It's the brand new Jackhammer clear blade. Um, I don't know if you guys can see show it to you this is the three eight ounce thank you buddy for biting thank you for showing me pop this hook out that was your first one on that one dude i've never used it and i just kind of wanted to know that you know i fish a lot of high pressure a lot of clear bodies of water and uh that lake dude in the water it's invisible it's crazy i need to get him that's a better one it feels oh. like i don't know oh. i mean it's a fish sir Hey, right when I reset that GoPro, I felt thump. 
and go to the left. Uh oh. Give me, give me a little. So Noah's throwing a speed worm. I'm throwing a chatterbait. That is a quality strike. That's not a bad one. That is. Not a bad one. Look how he's hooked, though. So I notice you don't peg your weight on your Texas rig. I, don't. I always peg. So let me tell you why. Tell I, me why. I fish a lot of the rivers in Georgia. Yeah. So when you're fishing current, you don't want that the the bullet weight pegged mm -hmm. because it's more natural in the current. You're gonna have that weight movement and the bait's gonna flow more natural. When you got it pegged, that bait doesn't have as much movement. Right. So when you're in current, it makes sense not to. You know, when I'm down here, Take I'd grass. obviously That's why I rather have a peg or, yeah. you know, if I'm fishing, you know, some trees, obviously. Mm -hmm. But not a bad one. Good work, Holmes. Not a bad one, guys. Another one on the worm. Fantastic. Hey, we just pulled up here and we both got one. So we'll see what else. You know, there's more too. You know how this Florida fishing is. One, you find one, you find more. Yep. We're having a good little day today, guys. We haven't caught a ton. I mean, we caught probably 12 to 14 fish. But we're having a good time, and that's what it's about. I just want to see if we can get into some more big ones. We caught two really good ones today, but I, I know we can catch another big one. Hey, I'll yeah. tell you, you know what's going to happen when them waves hit? They're going to start popping. Yeah, they're going to start blowing up when them waves come back. Oh, oh, oh. No way. Ah, la, 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 la. Again? Hey, man. They want the little speed. Yeah, a little, little squeaky. The big speed, they won't eat it. A little squeaky. That was a little tiny guy. Look, look at how I'm hooking these fish, though. Hooking them through the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom, bottom for some reason. Hey, you better get that top water or whatever moving bait you got. They might pop up with that. Get him. Oh. Dude, they come straight up, dude. You like that, don't you? Yeah, it's funny because when we were fishing the other day, they run at you. Today, they're just like, oh, they come straight up. Yeah, the sun's starting to go down. I know it's just teaching me how to catch them. <laughs> I think I need to get well. You need that speed worm. I don't have any more. I think it's my, I literally <laughs> think it's, and he's got my tail too. They last keep eating worm. it away. Yeah, I'll get him. There's a grass. Get him, brother. Get him, brother. I don't know, that looked like you pulled back on it. Hey, hook says free. Oh, here he is. Yeah, he's just, uh, he's uh, gonna spin it out. Oh! oh. Is it a good oh, one? Oh, it? That is. Oh, oh it is a good one. You've been waiting on this. Oh, it's the one. I thought, I thought you know, waiting before on I was this. screwing around, letting him swim and everything, yeah. I'm flipping him. Yes. Sir. Oh, that's, that's good. good. That's a good one. Good that's two, a good, two that's a kicking bass right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look at that freaking donkey. Look at that. Let's go, baby. I needed that. That's a last minute. That's a last minute strike. Come on, baby. Good job, man. Bubba. Smack him. Smack him. Yes. Oh, yes, dude. He's a, little, he's a little twinky. Or he's just running at me. Oh, he's running at you. He's tiny. No, no, that's he's, a big one. That's a big end. Come on. Don't be playing. Oh! <laughs> it's really not a bad one. It is. He's just running that's at me. That's a twinky, bro. That's a quality strike. That's a two pounder. Look at the that's belly a on that. Strike. The belly on that. Something. Glad you, been, you set the hook. You've been caught a few times. Yeah, it's one of those weird moments where you hook that and your rod just goes slack. You know, you uh, feel awkward. He took my worm though, dude. All right, I'll let you borrow a scrap. I think that is a uh, might be the fish. Look at that little spot. Fish. Look at that. Look at that little spot on his his gill plate. What? You see that right there? No way. You can tell he's been caught a few times. Thought it was a, it's not a bad one. That's our two biggest today. We got some good ones, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get a release on them. We're gonna do just a little bit more fishing. There's some good fish today, guys. That's pretty, man. That's awesome. One was on the popper, one was on the chatterbait. There's some good fish. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it if you guys are new to the channel. Smack that thing. Comment down below on what lakes you guys want to see me fish in Florida or what videos you guys want to see next. And also hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it. I really appreciate you all. You can check out Christian's Instagram. I'll link him down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one.